was horrible. It was, it, it was, I, I, I don't even know what it was. It was so fast, and, and there was a, uh, there was a hunter, and it was just... <sighs> oh, Abby. Here. What? Oh, try drawing. Drawing what? Well, uh, can you draw what attacked you? Nick, hey, buddy, can you tell me what those guys did to you? Gosh, did. He's super out of it. Yeah. The, the, the hunter. Uh, yeah, there was a guy. There was something else. Some kind of animal. What oh. kind of animal? No, no, I only saw a dude trying to take him away. He's probably just disoriented, that's all. The dude was massive and angry. Did I, did I get, is, is Abby? Yeah, hey, she, hey, she's okay, dude. She's right over there. Because teeth were on top of me. I think it was a bear. Full-size bear would have crushed him. There's no way. I thought we don't get bears right here. Oh, fuck. Look at that. Oh, shit. That black stuff? That's that's infection. That's and it's it, it's spreading. This is bad. This is really bad, dude. Uh, so, uh, sorry. Uh, You're okay. It's okay. Uh, fuck that. Hurt. We should amputate. We should cut it off before the infection spreads. What? Why would we do that? I don't know, man. Look at that black stuff. What, what do you think it is? Do I look like a doctor? Remember much. I mean, I don't even know what I saw. Holy shit. Holy fuck. Hey! Got a gun! And I know how to use it! Sort of. Brian, what if it's Jacob or Emma? What if it's not? Be careful. It was probably nothing. Yeah, but is it gone? Yeah, you better run. Very brave. All right. So, uh, Lodge is sounding pretty good right about now, yeah? Wait, no, 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 no. Don't shoot, don't shoot! I'm here to save you. Holy shit. Nick, is he okay? Nick and Abby were attacked in the woods. Hey, does anybody have any dry clothes? I'm, I'm fucking freezing. All our bags are still in the minivan. Oh, fuck, of course they are. Jacob, where's Emma? Oh, fuck! Oh, Jesus Christ, um... I, I left Emma on the island, and I told her I'd be right back. Ouch. Wait, the island? Yeah, why? Well, no, I just... I just thought I saw someone over there before. Someone? 
No, I, you know, I, I don't know. It's, it's probably nothing. I left her out there alone. Well, I think we're going to head to the lodge. Also, why are you covered in what I hope is strawberry jelly? Oh, yeah, no, um, I'm pretty sure it's blood. It was this guy with like, um, he had like a bottle thing. I don't know, dude, it's like a really long story. Ew. Yeah, no, it's super fucked up. Oh, and Jesus Christ, I can't believe I haven't told you this yet. I, I saw a fucking body in the lake. Like a dead one? Oh, no, 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 um... One of the one of the swimmers from the varsity swim team, he got lost on the way to practice, and it was yes, a dead one, dumbass. Of course you did, Jacob. No, for real, I did. I, I figured it must have been one of the counselors that didn't show up, but I couldn't tell because it was like all, all bloaty and gross. Something's not right. I gotta go get Emma. Uh, excuse me. Hey, I need this, okay? It's not safe out there. Dude, we gotta protect Nick and Abby. Yeah, and I need to save Emma, all right? She's out there alone. You don't even know if she's in trouble. You don't even know if you're in trouble. Are you trying to piss me off? No, I'm trying to save my girlfriend's life, asshole. Yeah, I don't think she's your girlfriend, dude. What? Get... here guys you're acting like pricks both of you jacob we're keeping this nick and abby are injured we need protection there's someone around here <laughs> ryan sorry this is bullshit make sure she's safe if she's on the island she's definitely fine and what risk another run-in with captain deliverance no thanks okay there's probably another boat by the zip line either way i can make it to the island from there we need to get back to the lodge. Try to get help. How? Nick can't walk properly. But yeah, I have an idea. Okay, let's see what tonight brings. Okay, here's a riddle for you. What's got two thumbs and is suddenly riding solo on a freaky island in the dark? This fool. <laughs> well, one thumb. One available thumb. Okay. And it was here, on this strange, uninhabited island, that this brave young soul found herself. Okay, full disclosure. I've suddenly found myself on a, a strange, tiny little island all alone with nothing to do but show you guys around. So, there's a tree house over there. I'm gonna go and see if I can't dish out some of that sweet, sweet panoramic goodness. Because here's the thing. Not that I wanna go back because I don't, but even if I did, I can't because then I'd look like the super needy one when he was the one who, who stormed off in the first place. You know what, sorry, I'm bending. Oh, explore bending. You know what, fuck it. Let's do it. To the tree house, fellow explorers. <laughs> No prizes for guessing what these are. Can't say that I've used them. A little too au naturel for me, TVH. You know, I've never thought about where the waste goes. Oh. Oh, please, God, no. Okay, we're gonna just go ahead and ignore that.
And this is the meeting shelter. It's a shelter where you meet at. Okay, I'm trying really hard to make this interesting, but sometimes a thing just is what it is. I think I've made my point. So this island is like an unexcavated part of the quarry that rewilded itself after it flooded into the lake. Pretty cool, huh? You know, when I was little, I used to think that islands just kind of would float in the middle of the water, kind of like an airbed. But I'm older and wiser now and realize that not everything's always as it seems. Kind of like how you thought you were just having a hot summer fling and then it turns into babysitting a big hairy man child who's all sad because you don't want to go steady with him and write him love letters every freaking day. And while we're talking about it, you don't mind that we're talking about it, right? Why? Why is it up to me to justify my feelings when he's the one who got all blah about it, you know? <sighs> oh, look. A metaphor in the narrative by mean of fork in the road. How fitting. Here's the big question. Do I take the high road, literally, and forget about it? Or do I continue on the path I'm on and keep ranting about my stupid dumb life? I guess since this isn't live, the choice is up to me. Okay, moving up in the world. Let's do this. Now you might notice the darling rustic vibes this walkway is radiating, and that's no accident. I don't know what y'all are doing with your walkways, but if you're not spending a full hour pulling a splinter out of a snotty kid's finger, don't you dare call it authentic. Don't worry, the kid was fine. I'm a good counselor, and what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. This is where we're heading. Not too shabby. Well, literally is too shabby, but these views, oh man, you're gonna blow your tops. There's also a zip line, which eh, I guess you can watch me crap my pants on that thing. What the hell? I'm here, aren't I? I'm gonna carpe this damn so damn hard it won't know what hit it. First, we gotta get there. And there's still so much to talk about. I hope Abby's okay. She ran off earlier. If you didn't see it, I kind of sort of made out with Nick, but it was a dare. I'm not like a bitch or anything. Oh, and for context, Abby likes Nick. Well, actually, they like each other. In truth, I just wanted to fan the flames a little. Watching them stumble around each other like drunk jellyfish was exhausting. Poor kid was like a deer in headlights. It's cool though, they're smart, they'll get it. I bet they're out there in the woods right now, just absolutely going for it.
look, car keys. Police car keys. I think this may be one of those. I'm sorry, officer, I've no idea. talking about situations, so I'm just going to go ahead and leave those right there. And here we are, as promised, one extremely rickety and even more underwhelming treehouse. In another world, perhaps young Jacob and I would settle down here and play house together. Honey, I'm home. What's that now? I forgot the children's bedtime. Well, now, that's a fine how do you do. Take it all in, folks. That's the summer camp experience right there. And oh, look, it seems, some, seems somebody forgot to clear the place out. I guess one of the kids left their stuff or maybe one of the guys back there. But I don't recognize them. Did you hear that? Looks like we have a choice on our hands. Do we snoop through someone else's belongings? Or do we open the spooky trap door and die a horrible, painful death? There are literally no right answers. Bag it is. And you know what? I'm putting some clothes on. This is all you're getting. there's something up there and it is not gonna make me jump I can promise you that much <sighs> goodbye cruel world the final curtain is calling and there's no time for an encore I got it. He's okay. Are you in pain? No, no, sorry. I'm just... I'm really hungry. 
We'll get you some food inside, okay? Yeah. Okay. Oh, man. I can eat a horse. <laughs> well, I don't know if we'll be able to find you a horse, but maybe some granola? Oh, yuck, I hate granola. This will open the nurse's station. Should be plenty of stuff in there. Well, hopefully we can just get him cleaned up for now. I'll get you something to eat. You and I are gonna find a landline. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, isn't there one in Mr. H's office? Yup. We'll come meet you. Copy that. I really hope they're gonna be okay. Do you think that whatever's left in the nurse's office is gonna cut it? Caitlin knows what she's doing. Does she? I, I mean, she wasn't even supposed to be working at the nurse's office this summer. She only filled in because some other girl didn't show up. It's better than nothing. <sighs> Come on, let's go call for backup. It's pretty weird to see this place so dead. You never came down here at night while camp was in session? What? No, did you? A couple times, yeah. Yeah. Where are you going? I... I, I, I thought I just heard my name. I didn't hear anything. I think Nick's injuries are as bad as we thought. Well, that's good news. Yeah. So what now? We gotta call for help. Who should I call? Uh, Mr. H? The only number I got is to this phone. Okay, then 911. You mean 911? Who says 911? I don't know. I... Anyway, yeah, but like, what should I ask for? Like, police? Ambulance? Huh. Cops. With guns, we need a lot of backup out here. So they'll say, 911, what's your emergency? And then I say, uh, help, my friends may have been attacked by a bear, or maybe not a bear, but definitely an animal with teeth. And we're not sure how many there are out there or how smart they are. So it's very possible they might be mounting an attack on us right now, and we really need backup. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's good. Okay. Nine one one. What's wrong? Dead. Well, that's weird. Phones go dead sometimes out here. Right when you're about to call the cops, though. It's a coincidence. Did you try the hang-up thingy? What? Here. What are you doing? I don't know. It's what they do in movies when the phone goes dead. You tap on the little thingy. We're not in a movie. Okay. Well, you know, how do you know that? Maybe that's just what they want you to think, man. Okay, so this phone's a no-go. No one has signal. Is there anywhere else in the camp that has a landline? Well, not a landline. What? The radio hut has some old broadcast gear. Where, where you do your announcements? 
where I curate my sweet summer jams, yeah, and where I do the PA announcements. It has some old equipment there. I think we could probably break something up and get a message out. All right, yeah. Let's, let's head over there and see if we can contact somebody. Put that back, Dylan. I will put it back when we're good and safe and help is on the way. Uh, okay, just careful with it. I'll be fine. Okay. Uh, it's, it's probably the weather. What weather, Ryan? Maybe, maybe it was the bears. Bear. And why does everyone blame everything on bears? Okay, so for the sake of argument, what if that bear that uh, cut our phone line and just cut out all the power, what if that bear is waiting for us out in the hallway? Fair point. Thank you. We should probably tell Caitlin that we're going to the radio hut. They're probably freaks. Yeah, okay, yeah, let's go. Yeah, we should probably leave that with Caitlin. Do you think she really needs it, though? Uh, she needs it just as much as we do. If she's staying in the lodge, we're going out there. You literally just said there might be something dangerous in the lodge. When? Like 20 seconds ago. Okay, sure. But that's because I really wanted the gun. Just give her the gun, man. Uh, all right. You're right. Hey, we'll still have mine. If you're extra nice to me, I'll, I might let you hold it. Don't write a check that your ass can't cash. My ass has got quite the bank account. Am I interrupting something? Chin up, big guy. It, I wouldn't really know what to do with it, okay? I trust you. Oh, thank you so much, Dylan. You're so generous and handsome. Yeah, no problem. Don't mention it.
Oh, good to see you. Good to see you. Ah, <sighs> that time again, is it? Strength. Hmm. Strength can be surprising. Knowing one's own raw power, tapping into it, tapping into a previously unknown energy. I suppose there are forces at work within us all. And with one hand it gives, and with the other it could rip away. As always, there's more to see. And as always, the choice is yours. Would you like to see more? So it's goodbye again. I'll leave you with this. Remember who your friends are. Remember who's looking out for you. Hey, I couldn't find anything to eat. The kitchen's pretty cleaned out. Oh shoot, I left my bag. I, I brought you this. That was... Fuck, I don't even know what happened. It was all just a blur. How are you feeling? How are you holding up? I'm, uh, well, I, I, I'm just happy you're okay. Are you okay? I'm sorry, I, I just asked you that. I... It's okay. All right, they're off to find a radio or something. What's with the, um, the... Oh, uh, we found another in Mr. H's office, so just in case. And what happened to the lights? Not sure. Any better? I'm doing okay. Kinda. Wait, are they going to the radio hut? <sighs> Phone's dead. They're gonna try to send out an SOS or something. We're holding down the fort. Did anybody else hear that? Shh. Said Dylan and Ryan already left. Wait, stay here. I'll check it out. We'll be fine. Just be careful. Stay alert.
okay, so this may not be like the best time per se, but like... What? Yeah, so like I was just, you know, thinking about like the start of summer and when we first met and the start of camp and well, like now that summer's over and, you know, is that like the last time we're gonna see each other, you know? Uh, sorry, Nick, what, what are you saying? Hey, don't worry about Caitlin, she's tough. I know. I'm sorry, Nick, I'm just distracted. Let's just get through the night, okay? Maybe I was misreading the situation back there, but kind of felt like a little bit more was going to happen. Well, did you want a little bit more to happen? D d are you dumb? Hey. Sorry. I just mean, of course I wanted it to happen. I just didn't know if you did too. That seems like such a long time ago now. You did want it to happen, though. Uh, um, I... You can tell me. Yeah, I... I guess. <laughs> You're just saying that because I'm hurt. Nick. <sighs> what is going on out there, Caitlin? We have died. We have died. It's okay, I got this. God. What happened? Jesus, where's the gun? We gotta get out. No, we have to hide. Quick. actual radio i thought it was just like for your morning announcements oh yeah yeah it used to be more of a actual radio station actually um uh, it, you know i mean it, it is still technically but nobody brings their radio to camp anymore yeah it's weird actually that there used to be kids with their radio and their portable cd player and everything and you know nowadays Everything we need is on the phone, but Mr. Hackett takes it on the first day at camp so that we're not distracted by technology. Um, technology, it giveth and it taketh. So is, is that something like that you want to go into? Uh, camp radio? No, like uh, DJing or music or something. Oh, um, yeah, I mean, I like music, but... I think I want to major in, um, quantum physics. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you don't really seem like a science guy. Oh, yeah, I mean, you know, not, not here. Um... I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so completely fascinated by this. What do you mean by not here? 
not here at camp. I do that at home, and then here I um. You're a wise, wise cracking smartass. <laughs> uh, that's a little harsh, but um, no. Okay, so maybe I was a little nervous when I arrived in an uncomfortable social situation, and I overcompensated a little bit by making a bunch of jokes. And you played into it. Yeah, I mean, people kind of enjoyed the blasé, Dylan. Uh, and do do you enjoy the blasé, Dylan? <laughs> Not yet. Like you know, whatever, man. It's pretty cool. It's fine. <laughs> Um, I like Dylan Dylan. Well, it's nice to meet you, Dylan Dylan. I'm Ryan Ryan. Well, actually, I'm let's get the fuck out of here, Ryan. Yeah, I like him. He's that makes a lot of sense. That's why Nurse Kelly went home early. All good? Uh, give me a minute. All right. All good? Oh, this place is kind of a dump, huh? Okay, when I was a camper here, it was barely working. 
it hadn't been used for years and it took me a really long time actually to get this place cleaned up and looking the way it is. So I'm sorry if it's not up to your standards, but I've been putting in a lot of TLC. Okay. 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 Let me get this set up. All right. Anything over here we can use? The power tools? No. Um, that's Mr. H wanted more storage, so it's kind of how he lets me keep the station going. <laughs> gotcha. So, uh, how far does it go? Oh, um, well, it was designed just to broadcast to the PAs around camp for announcements and to, you know, portable radios and whatever. So, I think the range is about a mile. How do you even know all this stuff? Uh, I just kind of picked it up. Hmm. The tech technical stuff has always been a little uh, hard for me to get a handle on. Well, if you like, I could show you the ropes. Like a class? Yeah, it's easy. Like climbing. Sign me up, teach. Anyways, this thing's going to need a bit of a power up, um, but that's where this comes in. Dust magnet. It's supposed to be a signal booster. It's kind of janky looking, but it's worth giving a shot. So we can actually talk to people with this thing? Yeah, well, it's not a two-way radio. So, um, you know, we can talk, uh, but then the best we can do is switch it over to the receiver and see if anyone broadcasts anything back, which is unlikely, but... Well, it, I mean, it is what it is, I guess. Yeah. So, what should I say? Uh, just, like, make it sound urgent. Okay. Hello, how's it going out there? This is, uh, uh we need help. This is, uh, we are counselors at Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp, and there's been a horrible accident attack, some stuff bad here. We need your help. Uh, there is a swarm of bears, and they are everywhere, and there's these hunters, too, and they seem to be shooting at the bears, but also at us, um, which is not good, and a few of our friends are hurt, and um, we are in desperate need of help, so please, I mean, there's vicious bears, and uh, we don't know what to do, so please uh, come help us, SOS, uh, this is a, an emergency, S save our ship, come on down, please help us. Did I do good? Was that... Swarm of bears? Yeah. Herd of bears. Yeah, I've heard of bears. What? Oh, my God. All right, I, I guess I should just, like, switch this over to the receiver and see if we get anything back. Yeah, okay, yeah, I'm going to keep an eye out while you do all this techie stuff. Okay, yeah, sure. Check it. I got a ping on the radio, but no response. I'm gonna head to the... Wait, did he, did he say lodge? I don't know, huh? Oh. Two males in the radio shack near the cabins. Another couple unaccounted for. Copy that. Um, now. Holy shit, they're talking about us. How? Because we just told them on the fucking radio. Fuck. They know where we are, man. We can't stay here. Shit. Shit. Fuck. Hey, hey, hey. Let's, let, let's stay calm, okay? Um, let's, let's go find Caitlin and everybody, okay? Okay, yeah.
I, I, I wasn't sure, man. Fuck, what the fuck was that? I have no idea. Uh, Ryan? Is it a bear? I don't think bears can jump like that. Caitlin, Abby, and Nick, they're coming up the path. Oh, shit. They're coming toward us. We, we, we gotta warn them. Um, what about the PA? Up top? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, we can tell um, them to hide or something. Yeah. Uh, oh, fuck! No. Oh, shit. Uh, the... uh, hold the button. Uh, Caitlin, get into a building now. Do not come up here. There's an animal outside the radio hut. Get, in, get into a cabin now. Go! Oh, fuck, dude. They're gone. We gotta kill it. That's not a normal animal, man. I don't think a gun's gonna cut it. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? I don't know, man. I just don't think it's a good idea to go running out guns blazing against some random ass super animal. Well, what the hell else can we do? Well, if it's got hearing, like a like a dog, maybe. Uh, I mean, we could we could play a really high pitched feedback loop and crank it to the max. And uh, I mean, it would hurt like hell. But okay, fine. Let's do it. Feedback thing. All right. Okay. Come on, Dylan. Let's do this. Um... Almost. Hey, Dylan, just take a breath. I'm sure you can figure it out. Okay, yeah, right. So, so, there's something missing. I, what's missing? Fix it. I'll cover you. Do it now. Go, quickly. Fuck! Oh, okay, 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 just, just hang on, hang on. 
Get the wire. What? Get the wire. Then get it. On it. Plug it, plug it into the thingy. Keep We blew the speaker. Uh, did the trick. Uh, nice work, Dylan. <laughs> oh, right. oh, fuck my hand. Right, right. Okay. Oh. Just hold on. Why did you do that? You told me to. Oh, it was a bad idea. I think we're okay for now. We ran into one of those hunter guys. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, chase us out of the lodge. I think we lost him on the way up here. You get a message out? I think so. Great. What the hell was going on at... Oh my god! Tell him what happened! Oh, um... I'm okay. I, I, I mean... I... I'm not, um, but it's... It... Yeah, 20% of the frames are being dropped. Alright, so let me see if I can go back to chapters. dropping a crap load of frames. It tells me what chapter I'm on, but I can't choose a chapter.
might just be bad internet. This normally doesn't happen. Oh well, I'll just continue and see if it picks up. I think we're okay for now. We ran into one of those hunter guys. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, ch chase us out of the lodge. I think we lost him on the way up here. You get a message out? I think so. Great. What the hell was going on at... Oh my god! Dylan, what happened? Oh, um... I'm okay. I, I, I mean... I'm not, um... But it's it doesn't doesn't hurt. Okay, you're in shock. Holy fucking shit. Uh did that thing do this? No. Well, sort of. It, it... Caitlin, where's your gun? I lost it. One of the friendly locals wanted to say hi. Dylan, what is that? <gasps> oh my god! <gasps> if I was fire, it would be the rainfall. If I Stars, you'd be these city lights. If I was a moon in the sky, oh baby, I want your cloud come and darken my night to be where you are. Like that's one less vermin in the world. Let's take a look once more. Here we have the hermit. With the hermit comes isolation, loneliness, but reflection too. Perhaps given some thought, the hermit who gives chase can guide you to safety. But that all depends on your actions, not his. I want to show you more. Would that be all right? We spend so much time looking toward the future. It's easy to forget that the past holds secrets, too. Worth remembering that. So it's goodbye again. I'll be here. I'll wait for you.
Emma! Jesus Christ. Jesus! Fuck! Oh, man. God, this night sucks ass. Emma, is that you? Fuck. Jesus Christ! Oh. oh my God, no way. Am I glad to see you? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! Oh. You left me back there, you asshole! Oh God, Emma, come on! Oh. Oh God. What the fuck is going on? Look, I don't know, okay? Some, like... Bear attacked Nick and Abby back there. Yeah, me too, but it definitely was not a bear. What? Who? When? Why? Sorry, I'm just... I'm glad you're okay. Yeah, barely. I mean, the thing that attacked me at the treehouse was like... What? It was like what, Emma? Like, out of a horror movie. Okay, um... Well, it, it was probably just like a, a bear trying to defend itself, you oh, know? Oh, don't be a dick. You, you know it wasn't a fucking bear. Well, you're right. You're right. And now we have these fucking the, the hunters running all over the place. So that's a fun new wrinkle. They did this to me. That's a lot of blood. Yeah, well, it's not mine. Mm, got quite the funky bouquet. No offense. Um, Okay. Okay, we've got to get out of these woods. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. <laughs> you know, Jacob, you don't have to be a dick about literally everything. Oh, shit. Okay, you know what? You're right, okay? You're right. I'm sorry. Oh, you're so annoying. Oh my god, can we please not do this right now? Okay, seriously, I literally came looking for you as soon as I heard there was something out here. Or things, like plural. Wait, really? <sighs> Run!
Is she like one of those hunter dudes? I don't think so. Should we do something? What can we do? She's dead. I mean, with the body. <sighs> That's Kaylee Hackett. Mr. H's daughter? I thought she went home with her brother. Kaylee, yeah, I thought so too. Oh man, poor Kaylee. Nick. You smell so good. You all right there, bud? Maybe dial it back a bit, huh? Fuck off, Caitlin. Whoa. Nick, what are you? I want to taste you. Hey. Come here, huh? Oh, Nick, what the hell? Oh, get off. Oh, watch out. I said get off. Let's get him in the pool house. Dry him off. Just try to rest. Just try to rest. I'm sorry. so much it's pretty clean from what I could tell I mean it's not bleeding but you need to see a doctor look this is all I've got left from the nurse's station Ooh, fun. you better hope uh, we find you some real help before they wear off we need to be keeping a record of everything that happens for the police yeah dead girl in the pool needs some explaining huh Easy, man. I mean, like, photos, whatever we can. I've got a funny feeling that the cops are not going to want to believe any of this crazy shit unless we've got some hard proof. From now on, if you got your phone and you see something, take a photo or a video or whatever. Yeah. You okay over there, Abby? Look, why don't you look around and see if you can find anything to help make Nick more comfortable?
wonder where Caleb is. This place was so different like 12 hours ago. Yo, something is not right with that boy. Dude is real sick. Did you see how he freaked out in the water? Yeah, he was like a... He was like a fish out of water. Right? Uh, sure. You know, something was weird when I tried to clean his wounds, too. At the lodge. What do you mean? Well, all of his clothes were bloody, but I couldn't find where he was bit. Or scratched, or whatever. He just kept moving around, like he didn't want me to see how badly he was hurt. Huh. Mm, rabies? He's not frothing in the mouth. <sighs> I think Abby would beg to differ. Point. Yeah, isn't aquaphobia a symptom of rabies? Hydrophobia, yeah. But I think it's more about a fear of drinking, not just getting wet. This was like... Like my cat in the bathtub. <laughs> yeah. Yeah? Can I ask you something? Of course. Do you like me? N Nick. Please, just tell me. I've really enjoyed spending time with you this summer. Such a... Oh, such a... Such... What? It's, it's such a cop-out answer. <sighs> Abby? Uh, what? I've got something to ask you. Uh, yeah. Okay. Why don't you like me, Abby? I do like you. No, no, you don't. You don't like me at all, do you? What do you mean? Tell me the truth. I am telling you the truth. God, I sure know how to pick up. What? You're not really very smart, are you? Poor stupid. 
stupid, Abby. Stop. Easy pickings. Right off the bone. This isn't you. This this isn't you. I... Whoa! Whoa, Abby! Abby, everything okay? Holy shit. <sighs> okay, so if I were a counselor at an off-season camp, partying around a bonfire, and it started to rain, and there were monsters, I would go to the lodge. Hmm. Ryan's stories again. Kids were getting freaked out about this stuff. We officially suck as counselors.
I've never done this before, Pop. Let's do it fast, that's it. Stop squirming. Give me the train. Is she bit, huh? How am I supposed to know? I don't know. Let me look at her. Nah. Get the fuck away from me! Oh! oh. Doesn't feel safe. Abby.
I killed him. I mean, dead people don't usually jump out of windows and run into the forest. Abby, he was gonna hurt you. You were defending yourself. I, I don't... I don't know that for sure. I do. No. No. It was you or him. And, well, that definitely wasn't him. Man, this is so fucked. Oh, shit. Where the fuck is Chris Hackett? Who's there? I need your help. Please. Who are you? My name is Laura Kearney. So? Don't let me in. It's not safe out here. Uh, yeah, there's a crazy woman with a gun killing people. I'm not killing people. Holy shit, you... Laura Kearney? You're Laura Kearney? Yes. You were supposed to be working, uh, helping out in the nurse's office, right? And you never showed up? Uh, you and the guy, what's his name? Max? Yes, Max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mr. Hackett said that you had changed your mind last minute. I, I think that we should, I think that we should listen to her inside. Okay. I'm gonna open the door, slowly. Just keep your hands up, okay? Okay. Here we are again. Just you and me. Why don't we take another look at what you've found? Did you look hard enough? These cards aren't just trinkets. You should know this by now. They, they can help you. I can help you. Off you go then. Top, top. One down, remember. It's not terribly exciting. So, uh, why didn't you come? Where have you been for the past two months? We did come. One night early. That was our mistake.
you done to Max? Shut up. You can't just- Shut up! This is an interrogation. I ask, you answer. <clears throat> Name. Laura Kearney. Who are you traveling with? And what is your relationship? Max Brindley, he's my boyfriend. Where were you headed last night? To Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. You already know this. What have you done with Max? No. I ask, you answer. That's how this works. Fine. What do you want to know? Oh. Well. Uh, why were we going to Hackett's Quarry last night? Max and I are camp counselors. Oh, bullshit. Counselors aren't due until today. I told you, we drove up and got there early. We figured we'd just go to camp. Why didn't you go to the motel like I told you? Because we were, like, way closer to the camp, and we're broke. Mm-hmm. Okay, Sheriff. Hackett. Wait, Hackett? Like, Chris Hackett? Don't change the subject. What the fuck is going on here, man? You have no idea what's going on here. Not a goddamn clue. You just stepped in some grade A double prime, go ahead and kill yourself cosmic type shit, young lady. And your only option is to buckle the fuck up and do what I say. Do you understand? to intimidate me and tell me what the fuck is going on. Is, is Max alive? I feel like I'm going crazy. Let's go. Hey. Hey, you asshole. What tell us what the fuck's going on? Max! I know you hear me! Okay? Yeah. I mean, I'm... I'm kind of all mixed up, but... more or less intact, I think. Laura? Yeah? Why am I naked? What? I mean, after we got attacked... the next thing I know, I'm waking up in a jail cell and you're gone. And now you're back again, and, and, and I'm super naked, and there's blood and stuff everywhere. I mean, what the fuck happened? I was kind of hoping you could tell me what happened. I feel like I remember bits and pieces, but none of it makes any sense. Yeah, same. I, I feel like... Were we drugged? I feel like maybe we were drugged. By a cop? Do they do that? 
Who does this guy think he is? Well, Sheriff of North Kill, apparently. North Kill? Yeah. Max. What? Did you even look at the map? Hackett's Quarry in North Kill. That's the town. Oh. And it gets better. I gotta look at his name badge and... Get dressed. What's he giving you? Not gonna be the guest of honor at Fashion Week, I'll tell you that much. Hey! Did I say you could talk to each other? I wasn't aware we needed your permission, Detective Dick Whippet. <laughs> yeah, it's a free country, Officer Oat. For brains. Shit. All right, buddy. Hands through the bars. Come on. Your turn. Let's go. I'm not going anywhere. We can talk right here. Come on. 